Hello, my name is Will Carmack, and in today's Adobe CC tutorial, I will be showing you how to animate color into your eyes. First step, bring your footage into Adobe After Effects. First thing I'm going to do is come over to the right side of After Effects where it says Tracker. Select the clip, and you want to come to this little button that says Track Motion. It's going to give you a little viewfinder point. Drag it to a high contrasted part in your eye. So I'm going to do right here where it goes from black to white and then come back to the tracker panel and if you see this little arrow right here analyze forward click that and now it's gonna automatically track your eye for you that's crazy right and BAM we have a perfectly tracked eyeball let's all take a second to think after effects for letting us be lazy now the next step is going to layer new and null object let's come back down to our first clip and hit edit target we're now applying the track to the null. Hit layer, null two, boop, and then come back down to the tracker layer and hit apply. X and Y, okay. And so now if you look, that null is perfectly tracked with our eyeball. And let's rename this null object to iris. Next step, come up here to layer a new solid. It doesn't really matter what color it is, but let's do black. Let's make this invisible. This is where we will be masking the eyes. So if you zoom in, you can come up here to the pin tool at the top of After Effects, and let's just mask a circle around our eyeballs. It's such a terrible color for a mask. Let me change that. Perfect. So once you have your mask around the eye, because both of your eyes move in unison and they should be the same size, if you come down to this mask one and hit Command D, you'll duplicate it. And you can just drag this other mask onto your other eye and it should fit fine. I actually think my right eye is smaller than my left eye. So I, whenever I do this effect, I always kind of have to adjust a little for my other one. So now that we have both of these eyes completely masked, we want to make sure they're masked throughout the whole scene. So if you come to the pick whip of that black masked layer and drag it down to the iris, bam, we've now made that mask path of the iris the same for the masks on our eyes. So if we look, check it out. Obviously there's going to be some work that we're going to have to mask manually, but so far, so good. Next step, come down to our bottom clip, which I'll rename now to bottom. <laughs> we're going to duplicate this clip and drag it underneath of our masked layer. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to track mat and hit alpha mat. If we make everything invis invisible except for that layer, only our eyes are visible. So whenever we animate this layer, it only happens to our eyes, which is what we want. We are now going to begin to animate the eyes. So come up to Effect, Color Correction, and go down here to Exposure. Let's change this to maybe 1.5. Yeah, if you uh, can see, it kind of just lights up our eyeballs. Let me fix this other mask really quick. So now that our eyeballs are lit up, hit the M key to drop down our masks. And let's go to feather and hit 10. Basically to soften the edges around the eyes, do that to mask one and mask two. So next, go back to effect, drop down to color correction, and hit hue and saturation. And make sure you're selected on our bottom clip. And now if you come to this wheel, you can now change the color of your eyes. Ooh, I think green looks nice. You can just play around with the saturation or the lightness. Actually, purple's pretty cool. And so now we basically animated our eyes. And so just real quick, if there's any imperfections, if you just go to your top layer, you can fix everything by just running through it really quick and just keeping the mask contained to your eye. So the tracking helps a lot but you will always have to do something manual. Especially right here, when you start to blink. The frame before you start to blink. So right here, if you come over here to our mask layers, hit mask path, a keyframe there, and a keyframe here as well, on both masks around the eyes. All right, once you go over one frame, just bring down your masks, another frame over, and they're closed. So basically just flatten this mask out. And now, as my eyes are about to open, let's actually make a keyframe right before they start to open. And now, we will bring the masks back. And bam, there you go, that's how you animate color in your eyes.
Thanks for coming to my Adobe CC tutorial. I hope you use this effect. This is one of my favorites. And you know what else is one of my favorites? This video's sponsor, Squarespace. From websites to online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. <laughs> and also, Squarespace is no stranger to awards. Not only do they have award-winning customer service, but award-winning designer templates that you can customize yourself. Bottom line is, Squarespace empowers people with creative ideas like me to succeed. And if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, I, I, I got you hooked up with a 10% off code. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.